Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. Now, if you watch one of our recent videos of how to make a face mask, but for men, for beards, you will know that it really kind of went viral with so many people wanting to figure that out. We've had so many emails about this, so many wonderful stories of how it's actually helped so many of you guys out there because not everybody wants to cut their beard just because of the pandemic. Now, some of you guys struggled with some of the instructions and so we've created this video that gives you a step-by-step -step sewing tutorial on exactly how to make this. It's super simple, just follow the step-by-step -step guide and you will get there. Now, remember, We've got the pattern on our blog. I'm putting a link down below where you can go download the pattern. It's to scale, okay? So print it out and you'll have that pattern available. I will be referring to the pattern through the tutorial. If you wanna jump ahead to some sort of sections that maybe you struggled with, like the elastic that helps to keep the beard nice and tight to your face, how to insert the elastic, look in the description box and I'll give you the timer there that you can just skip right to that, okay? Let's get going. And guys, if you're not a member of this family, don't forget to subscribe because we come out with new videos that help you out, especially in times like this. Now, before we go on, I'm quite excited to tell you that this video and tutorial has been sponsored by Shipping Quest. Now, I have some experience with Shipping Quest because when we used to live in Europe, we made use of their services and I was so impressed. So on our trips to the United States, we would buy things for our babies and for our children, but then the problem came on having to ship that all back to Europe. Not with Shipping Quest, because they made it so easy. The process for us was super easy. Basically, we went online, we put in the information, and within a few minutes, we got a quote. Then we got an email with all our tags that we then printed out and our inventory list, and we straight away started filling that in and we put that on our boxes. The next morning I was still asleep when the truck arrived and the doorbell rang and there on a cold Colorado morning we had to quickly get the boxes into the truck which they helped us with and boom that was it. Process almost done. We returned to Europe and a few weeks later our boxes arrived and the kids absolutely loved seeing their Christmas toys and everything we had bought them all the way in another country. And the best part is there were no breakages. Shipping Quest made the process so easy and super, super affordable. Now for this beard face mask, we've basically just used a top, a woman's top that we found. It is made out of cotton and that's important. Try and use cotton where you can. Now the pattern that we have in PDF form that you can download off our blog is to scale. This is the exact size of the pattern. This is the filter pocket. All the measurements on the pattern are clearly marked in centimeters and in inches. Now what we're doing is we're cutting out four of these shapes. You'll see that it is made to scale. Over here I'm just folding the fabric in half so that there is four pieces. Now I pin the pattern to the fabric. You then cut the fabric around the pattern. Now using the same fabric or different fabric you will cut out your filter pouch it's basically a square pattern. Here I've cut the pattern out and now you are left with four pieces. We have two pieces over here and we have two pieces over here. Now we're going to pin these together. So we've pinned it on the curved end and basically according to the pattern we'll stitch on that curved end. If you look at the printable instructions, you will see step one is sew on the curved side. For this mask and pattern, you can sew by hand or by machine. You're going to leave the top and the side end open. 
And what we're going to do is open it to the right side. That's the right side. This one, you're going to open it as well, but you're going to flip it and you're going to align your seam at the top and you're going to pin it to keep it in place. Now we're going to align the fabric at the top and we're going to pin it all the way along the top. So we've pinned on that side, now we're going to pin on that side as well. Now you're going to stitch and remember to stitch about half an inch from the edge. So now you can see where we have just sewn along the top. Your four pieces are now one. You can see where you've sewn across. Now we're going to fold it inside out so that your right side is on the outside. Let's match the seams over here. So now as we have it, your beard will be over here, your nose will be up here, and this is where we will attach the elastic for your ears. So if you look at the mask, you will see that we have two layers of fabric protection. Then we're going to be putting our pouch, and that is another layer of protection. But then we also put in our paper as our filter, and that's a further level of protection. So four layers of protection on this mask. The square that we cut out, you're going to fold it over once at the top, and and fold it over again, and this is going to be your hem. Now you're going to pin that. For the other sides of the square, you're also going to fold over, but only once, and you're going to pin that. Now we sew the pouch hem and the sides. So now you can see that we've sewn all the sides. This is the top with the hem, where we had the two folds. Basically, we open up our mask and this pouch is going to get sewn in the mask. This is where you're going to be putting in your filter paper. Now with your pouch, you want to fold it in half and just press with your finger to make a bit of a line down the middle. To help you align your seams, you maybe want to just put a pin in the top and a pin in the bottom. Then you're going to open this up, make sure your hem with the two folds is at the top and now you align it to the seam of your masks. So there's the center there and the center over there. Now what we're gonna do is pin the bottom and the sides. Now with it pinned, we're gonna sew the pouch to the fabric of the face mask. Okay, here yeah, we've sewn the pocket and you can see this is our hem at the top. It's a proper pocket. You can see on the other side that you have your stitch that came through on the other side. This is all explained in step three on the printable. Now with our pocket inside, the fabric of the face mask, we have our raw edges. And so what I've done is I've pinned all along the sides. Make sure that you've matched up the center seam. Now we want to create a hem on the sides. We've measured about one and a quarter inches. Once you've measured, you're just gonna put a marker pin. All the way down the side, place your marker pins. So now we're gonna flip it over, open it up, and you will see your marker pins. You're going to fold the fabric on those marker pins. As you do that, you're gonna pull out your pin and you're gonna pin right through all the layers of your fabric. You're going to do that all the way around the sides. Now we're going to make a smaller fold. We'll slip out the pins and then make our fold and pin right through. So basically you're creating a little insert or pouch that runs all along the sides that you're going to insert your elastic. So yeah, we've pinned all along the sides our one and a quarter inch hem. Remember, it's your big fold and then your smaller fold, and we've pinned it nicely. So now if you look at your pattern, you'll see that this area here is three inches. So we measure that out, and we just put a little pin marker over there. This area will be for the elastic that go around your ears. So you're going to sew this down here and across the bottom, and you're going to stop. This area here at the sides and bottom will be for your beard elastic. 
Now you can see that we've stitched three inches down and across. That's the area now where the elastic for your ears will be attached. So now we're going to stitch all the way around, but we're going to leave a one inch space. This will be the insert area for your elastic. Now, if you look on the blog, you will see that there are additional instructions on how we're going to do that. But basically you're leaving a two centimeter or one inch space, and that's going to be where you insert your elastic. We're gonna feed that elastic through. It's gonna go all the way around Okay, we've sewn and stitched all the way around, but you can see that we've left this little space, this little gap right here on both sides. And that's where we're going to insert the elastic and that's what's gonna pull in that fabric close to your neck. So in the instructions, we say that you need about nine inches of elastic for the beard, the sort of hanging part for the beard. But now that's for a large beard. And so you might need to make adjustments according to the size of your face and the size of your beard. And now to feed through your elastic, we've got a little bit of a hack. We're going to attach a safety pin on the end of your elastic and on the other side, we're just gonna thread through a normal pin. This pin will actually stop the elastic from being thread right through. Now we're gonna feed through our elastic. The safety pin makes it easier to do so. You've got this little area that you left open and so you'll insert it there and you'll feed it right around. This pin prevents it from slipping all the way through. When you reach the end, you can simply just pin it to the fabric to prevent it from slipping through. And there we have our elastic coming through the other end and look, that pin stopped it from slipping through. You can see that it's already drawing the beard pouch in. But once again, you might need to make adjustments when you fix it by sewing it inside according to the size of your beard. We've stitched it closed just a few times back and forth to keep it in place. Okay, so for my head, uh, we've measured about six inches for the elastic that goes around your ears. But this is something that you're gonna have to play around with and just find the perfect fit. You don't want it pulling in too much and you don't want it too loose. You just pin it at the top and pin it at the bottom and then just hand stitch it onto your fabric. And for your filter pouch, we will insert a cut out square piece of normal kitchen toweling paper. We just feed the paper into our filter pouch. This is going to give you an extra layer of protection and after you use it, you can just take it out and discard it. And then you can wash your face mask. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, go check out our blog and you can write your comments there. You can email us. We're always available for your questions. A big thank you to our sponsor, Shipping Quest, for making this video possible. If you would like a DIY face mask with a pouch for a woman or for a child, for your family, go check out the video up above here where we give instructions and a printable pattern as well. Hey guys, until the next video, see you then.